warming up for you. Hannah's room. A bit hot. Fan on. Um, yes, there's a plan happen. <laughs> I'm like, there's never a plan. I make this crap up as I go along. Um, I've got as long as it takes to do the intro to come up with an idea. I think it's something. Hey, hey, pallet people. So this week has been hmm, interesting. Um, I've done a bit of shopping. As um, a minimalist, I still buy things. I think that's something I need to look at. Buying in less stuff. But this was this was nice stuff, and it was ready for my new living room when I get decorated. So it was this lovely picture frame. Because Power World's closing down, and everything's like forty percent off, and it's wood. I mean, it's only like MDF crap on the back. But I thought for a pound it was really nice because it should have been two pound and I got it cheap. Yeah. Anyway, so that was that one. But I thought this was quite um, a nice placky sign thing, and it's a sentiment. I felt. I'm sorry. These rats are really noisy. What are you doing? Who's making that noise? Is that you? I don't think you can see them from there. Can you? As I say, oh yeah. The, the t-shirt hammock. That's yeah. There's a couple of them all over the place. Um, yeah, so I felt that the sentiment of this plaque would go nice in my corner when I get it finished, in my geography corner. And it also seemed very appropriate after last week's video and the whole focus thing that I'm doing. And it basically says, be happy with what you have while working for what you want. There we are, it's my thumbnail right there, ding. Although, I do object to the uh, coffin shape of the plaque. They could have just made it a bit more. Just saying. Um, oh, and I also, for no reason whatsoever, want to show you my really cute Hello Kitty socks. Absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about, but um, I have a forum and I therefore share. Right then, so, about this cat list. Um, this week has been all about the grommet. Um, let me see, I might actually pipe complete fluke as opposed to organising yes this is what's happening in Bristol at the moment it started last week I have the app I there's one literally outside my workplace so I got that one straight away obs and then I've taken a series of circuitous walks that's not a word but you get the general idea um I've taken a series of walks to take in the ones that are within walking distance of work in the sense that I can get out and be back within the hour. Uh, yesterday, uh, Ethan and I went on an Ethan's adventure. Um, we're looking at possibly doing a new vlog series because he was 12 on a Thursday, which means I have one whole year before it's just not cool to be seen with me. I think he's getting there now, but I think he realises he has no money and he needs to go out with me if he wants things. But we came across a really cool um, arcade. It reminded me of Japan, actually. They had loads of you know, you win tickets and they had this uh, virtual reality roller coaster which was really good and cheap, I thought, for what it was, rather than And we also went on a boat, which was quite exciting. And yeah, we completed an entire trail. Tra 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 we completed an entire trail because the way they've set these out this time. For those of you who aren't familiar, grommet of, uh, you know, wrong trousers, uh, Wallace and Gromit fame. Wallace on there. Where is one? There's one. Well, this, this one. Um, they are from Bristol. So um, they don't have the accent, so funny that. Um, and over the last couple of years, we've had, I think it's every two years, because two years ago I was collecting Sean the Sheep. Um, I think the pictures of Sean. I don't think he's relevant to this particular adventure, so he's not on there. No. Sean the Sheep is a Wallace and Gromit character went and collected 60 of those around the city. Uh, two years previous it was Gromit um, and two years previous it was gorillas because Bristol Zoo had a famous gorilla called Alfred and that was probably the reasoning there. Um, so after the event basically these statues are designed and sponsored by various people and they're scattered around the city and you can go and find them, have your photo taken with them. This year what they've also got on them because, you know, modern, they've got the QR codes and a code so 
But when you find them, you have the app on your phone, which I can't show you because I'm using my phone to film this. Haha. <laughs> you go in, you do a ding ding, and it brings up. So basically, what I've done this week is. Been to Bristol. Um, Ethan and I took an interesting walk yesterday, taking in basically all of these blue ones. This is the Harborside Trail. I guess the. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm allergic to pretty much all animals. Oh, so, um, yeah, we did this entire thing here, crossing the river on a little ferry boat. Um, i pretty much done all of these, but I can't quite make it up to the hospital and back in a lunch hour because grossly unfit and asthmatic, but mainly grossly unfit. So I just need to take this one off and I've completed this entire map. We took a bit of a random trip the other night to Marks Road and ticked one off there. There's also one at Kingswood, ticked off. So what I need is for Paul to take me to Western in the car. We can pick these up. There's these ones up in the north a bit. So, yeah, the plan is I've got to the end of September uh, to get them all done. I've also done a couple of the... Um, if you look on the app, there's also... Oh, I've just put myself in the eye. That was rather silly. Um, there's also... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? you win things awards prizes prizes awards that if you like find five find ten complete a trail uh, that kind of thing you win these awards so i've got quite a few of those as well so happy days right i was actually going to talk about something else this week but i've ranted on now for six minutes about wallace and gromit so that's pretty much all let me just tenuously make this about the kettle list because i feel what i need to be doing is once I finish this and I have to edit it, I would also need to do a blog post because I have reset up the blog to try and be a bit more used, mainly. Um, so one of the things I did want to look at, briefly, I can uh, take another moment of your time. Um, one of the things on my list is um, about being healthy. Um, yeah, I mean, one of them is to get flexible and be able to do the splits. I feel... What I actually need to do is I've got run, swim, cycle. I really just need to sort my diet out. I've been eating so much rubbish. It's too hot. And our kitchen, the sun comes directly in on the afternoon. And I really can't be asked to cook anything. It's terrible. It's just too hot. Um, I'm not designed for this immense heat. So how am I going to cope when I live abroad? <sighs> you never know. Right, but... Yeah, so I'm hoping next week to do a section on health and just a general life sorting out in terms of diet and weight and things and exercise. I also want to do one on my Japanese. I've joined an app. So I follow Duolingo because I use that app. I've completed that app. I'm going back over it now. Um, and somebody suggested a couple of these things I've joined and I can't remember the name of it offhand and of course I can't check it because it's on my phone so I'll look that up for research for a future video but the basic premise is, is you look at people who are going to speak Japanese and want to learn English and you chat and I thought that's quite good because you know Yumi can't do it all she's just one person um unfortunately what I've had is 16 offers for chat um from people not even learning Japanese, not even from anywhere near it. I think it's probably my own fault. I did use my um, rather sexy Snapchatted um, profile picture. Uh, if I'd have gone for this look, I probably wouldn't have been harassed as much. I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> Snapchat, what are you gonna do? Never mind. Right, so I need to edit this video, I need to write a blog post, I need to tidy up, I need to, um, over the next week, so next week uh, Ethan and I are off on another adventure, so I also need to work out how to edit and sort out all of the stuff from his video that we did. Oh, and then we've got, so then we're going to go and see Thriller, and we've got Rin's mum's birthday. Am I allowed to tell you that? Is it a secret? I'm pretty safe, I don't think she watches my vlog, it's cool. Um, we also have Red Fest and Harbour Fest and Up Fest and Dentist. 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 Okay. Bloom Festival. So, yeah, lots to keep us going over the summer holidays. Um, so, that will be, you know, the whole lift of the night. Even though I'm planning, like, language wise and health wise and 
lifestyle wise and decluttering the house ready to go and live somewhere else potentially as a teacher um i still need to remember that life doesn't just stop for the next four years while i'm sorting all that out it's still going on so i need to keep this one in mind it's quite deep i might i might instagram it seems like the kind of crap they'd like on there right then i'm gonna do my little wavy thing i shall see you all next week this has gone on for like 10 minutes i'm very very sorry to have gone on so long and i'm also too sorry to flash you this vest is not very supportive i'd like to apologize thank you right then so ding 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 uh like and subscribe um all that sort of thing i shall see you all slightly cooler possibly you never know and potentially world cup winners mm -hmm. next week potentially not no matter right see you then <laughs>